Hello everyone. Today I'll be sharing a very different video regarding the safety during FACO emulsification. It used to happen with the, almost every surgeon's operating theatre, uh, although it's not very uh, common thing. Now nowadays with the modern uh, FACO machines, we are using very high vacuums and high powers, and uh, the the, the surgical speed has gone like anything so if you are um, doing surgery at a much faster speed you have to be more cautious this was a normal uh, pretty normal case uh, and I um, did uh, flax on it and I divided nucleus in six fragments and uh, did the uh, 5.5 millimeter capsular axis and in my normal routine cases, uh, if possible, I always try to give my corneal incision at the steep axis. So I'm using a digital marking system uh, to get an idea about the steeper meridian. So after hydro procedures, now I is ready for uh, nucleus removal. I introduced my FACO tip because I have already divided the nucleus in six flex pieces with the help of FAMTO. So now here I am just holding the pieces one by one and I will try to catch it and I will try to do my fragmentation uh, in the bag only. You can see that pieces are loose and they are coming very easily at the tip and very safely I completed my fragmentation within no time. So the whole of the nucleus has gone. When we use a uh, uh, flex, uh, it's difficult to hold the epinuclear plate because uh, we also cut the epinuclear plate and that's why we uh, have to introduce the IA tip slightly underneath the axis to catch the cortical matter and epinuclear plate. With my experience in the past, I learned one thing that we should give respect to the tissues. So if we give uh, respect to the tissues, tissues will also give us a respect. So I always do my um, maneuvers quite away from the cornea just to take care not to uh, damage the endothelium. Normally I do not touch the conjunctiva because I don't want any subconjunctival hemorrhage uh, in the uh, per op and the post op period. So after cleaning the bag, I implanted the single fleece hydrophobic um, simply implant which is a, a progressive implant or a, in say the extended focal eye will. It is always a good practice to clean the uh, visco from behind the eye will and over the eye will and from the angles. Now watch carefully, I was just cleaning the visco elastic and uh, there was a sudden decompression of uh, antechamber. Now see this. Um, in slow motion, I was, I was working on a nearly 600 vacuum and there was a sudden decompression of any chamber. I stopped the surgery and it happened because of sudden separation of inflow uh, tube uh, from IA handpiece. So because of no influx of the uh, fluid in the antechamber, the chamber collapsed. My idea of uh, showing this video was that like when we are driving, we always fasten the seat belts. So if you are using FACO, always check whether your tubings are properly attached with the hand pieces or not. And if you take care of a few important things, definitely will, you can easily avoid accidents. Thanks for watching.